Hey guys, Brandonia Productions here, and today we're going to be adding the save file and open file options to our context menu inside of our tutorial notepad. Okay, so first thing we're going to actually want to do is rename our form because I realized I never did that. So, going to rename it tutorial notepad. Okay, that looks nice. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is start with the coding, right? Right away. Not even a minute into the video and we're starting. Hmm, we're off to a good start. So we're going to go ahead and press file and then press the save command. Because first we're going to want to save. Well, actually, before we do save, we need to add something into our uh, project from the toolbox. So we're going to open up um, dialogs and then we're going to do the save file dialog now what the save file dialog is is when you open up notepad and you press file save this thing the thing that says save as this window is the save file dialog so the save file dialog one is just one of those windows okay so now that we have added that we don't need to do anything else we just press save to empty the coding and then what we're going to do is say dim because remember dim declares a variable so we're going to say dim write it as new system dot io dot stream writer okay then in parentheses we're going to leave it empty for now now what this code does is dim declares the variable write it as new so we're declaring write it okay so we declare write it as a new so as a new something we're declaring it as a new system which a system dot io which is pretty much all of the properties or all of the functions that a system can do so we're going to declare it as a new system function dot stream writer a stream writer is something that writes stuff into files so say you have specified text we want to write it into a file which is what we want to do when we save and in parentheses we're gonna want to type um, what we're gonna write to okay so in this case it's going to be open or save file dialog one dot file name now save file dialog one dot file name is pretty much where we select the file to be saved after the dialog is closed okay so the name of the file to be saved to once we do that we can say above that save file dialog one dot show dialog now what this does is just pops up the save file dialog So what this code basically does is opens up the file dialog, so opens up the thing that shows us the thing that we c where we can select to save the file to. Then it dims a writer to write the stuff inside the text box to a certain file, um, and it tells it to write to where we told it to save to. Okay, so all this is doing is declaring it now we actually need to write it so we're going to say write it which is the variable we declared and then we're going to say dot write write it dot write okay pretty simple right and then in the parentheses we're gonna type rich text box one dot text which again is the text inside the rich text box so we're telling um, this tool to write the stuff inside the text box to save file dialog one dot file name. Then, after that, we're just going to press write it dot close, which ends the writing once it's complete, and that's pretty much it. So, let's test this out, see if it works.
Okay, so once the project's loaded up, I'm just going to maximize it. Then we type a bunch of stuff. Okay, then we're going to press File, Save. If you notice, the Save File dialog popped up just like we wanted it to. I'm going to select My Documents, then create a new folder called Tutorial, all in caps. Then going to save this in here as lol.txt. Okay, so now we're going to press Save. And nothing looked like it happened inside the program, but if we press Start in My Documents, go to Tutorial, lol.txt is there. If we open it up, it's the same stuff that was inside here. Okay? So now what we can do is we can, or what you can also do is inside this code in the write it command instead of showing a save file dialog you could show it to a directory but we're just going to leave it like this so now we need to do the open file command which is pretty much the same concept except we need a new tool this tool is called the open file dialog so just going to drag that into our project then we're going to enter the code for the open command and we're going to say open file dialog one dot show dialog just like the code above and then we're going to dim or declare read it as a new system dot io dot stream reader and we're going to make it read open file dialog one dot file name now this does, whoops, read it. This is pretty much the same concept. We're declaring something to read the stuff inside the file we select with the open file dialog and report it back. So we're going to say, um, rich text box one dot text, because that's where we want to put the text that's inside the file, rich text box one equals read it dot read to end now what this does is it makes the text inside the rich text box equal um, the stuff inside this file all of it so read to end then we're just going to want to close out of read it once it's finished so we're just going to do read it dot close and we're good so we're going to run the project Okay, so we have a blank area. We're going to press File, Open, and then we're going to open lol.txt. And if you notice, the same thing opens that we saved. Okay? But there's one problem with this code. If you press File, Save, and then press the Cancel button, pops up in, as an error, as you can see in the immediate window thing. And it says, uh, Empty path name is not legal. So how do you fix these error messages? Well, you tell it to say, you tell it to do something when there's an error. So on error, go to E. Now this is telling it to whenever there's an error, go to the subscript called E. But how do we make this E? Well, first we got to exit the sub because it's not part of all the commands that open the file. And then we're going to press E colon and just type nothing. So, on error, go to E, and it goes to E, and it does nothing. So we're just going to do the same thing for the open dialog, too. On error, go to E. Exit sub. Whoops. We have to do it before the end sub. Exit sub, E. Now if we test it out, and press file, save, and then press cancel, we get an error down here in the immediate window, but the program does not close because we told it not to. Okay, this has been a tutorial by Brandonia Productions. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and see you later.